Okay, we're looking at properties of equality. Well, actually, here we are, properties of equality. So we know reflexive means that if I have A equals A, or 5 equals 5, or 6 equals 6, symmetric if A equals B, then B equals A. So if I write it in a different form, so 1 half is the same as 0.5. And if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. So if 2.5 equals 2 and 1 half, and 2 and 1 half equals 5 and a half, then 2.5 equals 5, and a half, 5 over 2. And substitution, if A equals B, then you can replace A with B and vice versa. So if A equals B, then 9 plus A equals 15, then 9 plus B equals 15. We can also see, we can also see if A equals B, then A plus B equals B plus C. And for subtraction, A minus B equals A minus C and B equals C. And for multiplication, A equals B, then A times C equals B times C. And for division of A equals B, then A divided by C equals B divided by C. So we can substitute those properties on in. So, um, solving an equation that contains a variable means finding all values of the variable to make the equation true. Such a value is a solution of the equation. So when I solve for something, I'm looking for the solution. To find a solution, isolate the variable on one side of the equation using inverse operations. Inverse operations are operations that undo each other. Addition and subtraction has an inverse relationship, as do multiplication and division. So we're looking at problem number one. What is the solution of x plus 4 equal negative 12? Well, I want to get my variable by itself, so I'm, I'm adding 4, so the inverse of that adding 4 will be subtracting 4. So whatever I do to one side, I have to also do to the other. So subtraction is the inverse operation of addition. So subtract 4 from each side. So I get x equals negative 16. I can check to make sure that I'm correct by plugging in this negative 16 for x. So negative 16 plus 4 does in fact give me negative 12. Negative 12 equals negative 12. So let's look at got it number 1. 12b equals 18. So I am going to, I am multiplying by 12 and b together. I want to get my variable alone, so I'm going to do the opposite or the inverse operation, which is divide. So I divide both sides by 12 and I get b is equal to 18 over 12. I want to reduce that. So I know that both of them evenly go into 6. So 3 divided by 2. So that's one way of writing it. Or I can write it as 1 and 1 half. Or I can write it as 1.5. And so I can check it out to make sure that it works out. So I can do 12. And I can plug in 3 over 2. And when I plug in 3 over 2, I'm going to multiply straight across. So 3 times um, 12 times 3 equals 36 divided by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. So it does, in fact, work out. I hope this helps.